If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best players at each position in Madden 22 Ultimate Team, guys. Now, if you guys do know... Pretty much gonna go through each and every position in Madden and kind of give you guys the best player I believe you should have at this point in the game. That was a great time to do this video for a few reasons. First off, Legends do drop today, as well as Superstar MVP Promo Part One and Two are officially out. This does give this gives us a little buffer during Weekend League until we get Kickoff Promo and potentially a few other things. But that's gonna come a little bit later. So this is the perfect time after a big promo to really go through and kind of assess who are the best players you kind of want in the game right now. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. Comment down below. Let me know who your favorite player in the game is, as well as comment down below Poodle Squad if you want to be shouted out. All you got to do is like the video. Have that noti bell on sub to be a part of the Poodle Squad, and I will shout you out. Now, today's Poodle Squad shout out goes out to Juan Perez. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. And last, if you guys need coins for any of these players, head over to Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. But let's get to it. Let's go over to the auction block and start with quarterback. Now, I feel like a lot of people may be surprised by this quarterback choice if you haven't been following Mutt Twitter or anything. Now, getting over to quarterback, I personally have a favorite in this game, and I think he's the best quarterback in the game. I played with a few quarterbacks already, and I think he's the best one. So let's filter out by quarterbacks here. Danny Dimes is the best quarterback in Madden 22. This is not as biased as you think. He is arguably, he's the fastest and hardest thrower like combination while being the highest overall as well in within that range and getting uh so i think it's set feet uh set feet elite or set feet lead sorry as well as getting good throw on the run good deep accuracy he's just an all-around stud six foot five and he feels really fast when you play with him like it feels like he has like a baby escape artist he's really good i highly recommend you scoop him up and power him up i already got rid of Mahomes for him i mean i still have Mahomes because he's free obviously Mahomes just wasn't that great his release is kind of slow and he couldn't move and a mobility this year with the way mobility works mobility is kind of important to me you can really run this year without a skate artist, so I really do. I'm a fan of I'm a fan of Daniel Jones. He's good. Next at halfback, it's easily and anyone who's played with them can tell you this. It is Saquon Barkley over everyone else. People thought when Ladainian Tomlinson that when he came out that he was going to take over uh, Saquon Barkley before he even came out, like that was going to be it. Ladainian Tomlinson may be one speed higher, but I've been saying that they're close enough to where I think Saquon could have been better because Saquon's 233 pounds. That's almost 20 pounds heavier which means he's borderline Derrick Henry weight. So LaDainian Thomas, when I played with him, he's fast, he's you know he's elusive, but whenever he gets touched, he's pretty much going down. Saquon Barkley, if you guys haven't played with him, even the base elite and power up Saquon Barkley, they break so many tackles. That card is a tackle-breaking machine. This Saquon Barkley, I'm telling you, he's his stats with LaDainian Thompson are very similar, but he's a tackle-breaking machine, not to mention the juke move, the stiff arm, the change of direction. He's an all-around player. Tackle breaking machine at 233. Trust me, if you play with him, you're gonna feel the difference of having a Saquon on your team. Now, for offensive linemen, guys, like I said, I always skip offensive linemen because again, if you want if you want good run blockers, get good run blockers. If you want good pass blockers, get both. If you have a lot of coins, get guys who can do both of them because then you're gonna want to do both. Next, wide receivers. Here are the three, here's the three best combinations of wide receivers I can put for you right now, in my personal opinion. For starters, you need Brandon Marshall, best wide receiver in the game, hands down. Don't even debate it. I promise you. His route running with route tech is crisp. He can run deep, medium, and short route, uh, short routes. He can catch. He's six foot five. He's gonna have an 89 speed powered up. All around, he's just a beast wide receiver, right? Next, I think that you want to go with um, well, you, Devin Hester if you can get him done. But for the time being, for the for in, per, in, in terms of buying, you're gonna want to go with. Let's see if we can find him on here. Jamar Chase is gonna be the next guy you're gonna want. 91 speed, but he's very expensive right now, so. There are some other ways on, but 91 speed, 92 jumping. Jamar Chase is the next guy. And then for the third guy, in my opinion, what I'm going to be doing personally is I'm going to get, when I get to level like 50, I'm going to use my power pass to get Tyree Kill. So my wide receiver core will be Brandon Marshall, Tyree Kill. Then I'm going to sell Jamar Chase for like 300k right now. Sell him. Put Tyree Kill powered up into the Jamar Chase role. He's actually a better route runner and some other stuff. And then go ahead and I'm going to put Devin Hester and Tyree Kill as my, one, my two and three. That's kind of my plan right now. Uh, but for the time being, it's Jamar Chase, Tyree Kill, and Brandon Marshall. Tight end. No brainer. If you don't have Kittle, it's going to be Pitts. Pitts is absolutely insane. 334K, respectfully so. He's insane. If you haven't played with Pitts, then you don't know. He can run routes. He's 6'6". Six six. 
he jumps over people to catch some stuff especially with how like this game animates and zones play he's just he's just hard he you can't pick him off like if it's thrown if it's thrown high enough to him you're gonna have to swat the ball or hope he drops it because it's gonna be very hard to pick him off unless you're completely in front of him but that, that's like led outside with his height and reach it's kind of over kyle pitts is a beast uh next guys we have left end now at left end right now of course the best one in the game and you have jack youngblood right but off the auction block is going to be michael strand he's a beast i have him as well 200k right now michael strand 89 overall he's good he's gonna get powered up and chemmed up he gets the block shit and power move threshold which the beauty of this is if you think about it is that you may not need to upgrade him for months now you might say but wait he's gonna be a low overall there'll be better ones yes but if you're trying if you're no money spent you're trying to preserve coins with the way thresholds work a 94 overall end in like two three months that has like 87 speed but still only has above 90 90 block shed and power move it's still going to play similar in the run game and, pa and pass rush game they're going to play almost identical the only difference may be the speed and potentially the strength and weight but like again he's a big guy so he's gonna be able to last a while having both thresholds and then at right end so at right end again there's a few options here but i personally like aaron Donald. now the problem with aaron Donald is that with i have young blood strahan um young blood strahan chris jones and i have I just have so many guys there that I don't know where to put them. So right now, in terms of just pure right end, Aaron Donald's your guy, obviously. But there's just a lot of options right now in terms of, uh, you know, where to move everyone around at. He's going to get the blocks and power move. Of course, you have to power him up and then get strategy cards in him to get him to 90 blocks and power move. But similar to Strand, he will get that threshold. And then, of course, I'd probably want to put him at defensive tackle at some point. Like, I, I'll, I'll power him up, but I'll move him along the defensive line. Because as the game keeps progressing, he's not going to be the best end. But he will be, you want him on the line. He has the weight, the strength, and the block shed. Well, probably more defensive tackle because it's going to be faster ends off the edge. Now, defensive tackle, uh, we are getting a Warren Sapp today, which you can't see. He's probably going to be the best defensive tackle in the game. I mean, it's Warren Sapp. He's going to get 91 overall LT, uh, LTD. It's going to be Warren Sapp. I mean, Vita Vey is good, but he's really slow, which is part of the problem with him. But overall, Warren Sapp is going to be good. Now, left outside linebacker, people love Von Miller. Now, the thing is, right now, if you go to the 90 range, there's none yet. People love Von Miller's stats and abilities, but the problem is, a lot of people heard, well, from what I've heard is that edge threat is kind of broken and hasn't been working properly, but then I've heard recently again that it is working now. So for right now, Von Miller is probably your guide outside linebacker, although we will eventually get some legend outside linebackers, and he doesn't get thresholds unless you power him up and get him all the way, which is going to be kind of tough. His ability is good, though. Edge threat elite is good. Now, guys, I personally don't like linebackers right now. I am not a fan of linebackers. I think most of them are pretty horrible, honestly. Uh, a pretty decent pickup right now at linebacker would probably be the Miles Jack Superstar MVP. Although he's expensive right now because of the whole sets and everything. He's probably your best bet for a high tier linebacker right now. 85 speed, 86 excel with the hip power and everything. 6 foot 1 and then he comes with a secure tackler and I believe like... Comes with something there. What is that? He comes with improved reaction catch up. Oh, mid zone. So mid, uh, mid zone KO. He's decent. But again, if you're going for straight speed, if you're going for overall... And abilities, Miles Jack's your guy. But if you're going for a straight speed, Micah Parsons obviously going to be your guy here. He's just too expensive for a middle linebacker. They don't do enough. 88 speed, 88 excel, 84 hit power, 86 tackle. Micah Parsons is insane, 6 foot 3. He's going to be great, just too expensive. Me personally right now, I would recommend you get your Cam Chancellor Ultimate Champion up and just put him or Ultimate Master and get him into the middle linebacker spot. That's pretty much what I'm working on because middle linebackers are either A, too expensive or just not good right now. It's just not, 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 not my thing. Next, we have DeMarcus Ware, right outside linebacker. He's the best right outside linebacker in the game, very simply. This is the one you want to be getting right now. Again, we're going to be getting more, but he will get threshold block shed and finesse if you power up and get strategy cards on him. So he will be, again, similar to Strahan, except he'll get 87 speed, which makes him a bit faster, or well, a lot faster than Strahan, which is why he could even last even longer. So he's going to be a really, really good card. Now, cornerbacks. There's been some interesting corners this year already. Starting off with number one, who I have as well, who it just plays like a beast. Uh, you need him powered up, though, so you can get your threshold and stuff with him and make him last. I He's an 89. It's because he's powered up and thinking he's a 90. Um, 89 overall, Darrell Revis. Darrell Revis is the best cornerback in the game. I'm so happy they dropped him this early. He's fun to play with. 89 overall, Darrell. Now, you need him powered up for a few reasons. If you power him up, he gets the press threshold. He gets 89 man, 89 zone, and 90 speed, 90 excel. And then you can, with the strategy card, you'll have 90 man, 90 zone, 90 press, 90 speed, 90 excel. Similar to what we expect Ramsey every year to be stat-wise, but he gets the speed as well. And then he gets good catching, gets good change of direction all around. Going to be like a little baby Deion Sanders, but, you know, with way better coverage and way better physicality. Cornerback two. Jalen's up there, right? But I think I'd probably rather go with probably rather go with Marlon Humphrey. I don't know. The problem with Jalen is he's kind of slow. Uh, Jalen only has, I believe, an 85 speed. So 85 speed's a little slow already considering we have so many fast guys in the game. 
I'd probably rather go with Marlon Humphrey. Comes with abilities on him. Going to be a safe slot guy. Uh, just like pl plug and play guy. He gets the press. He'll get the man up to 90. 87 speed is decent enough for now. And he will get, of course, um, improved knockouts in man versus shorts. Uh, so short route KO, acrobat, and I believe deep route KO. And then personally for my third corner, I, I actually like to rock my base elite Dion. I really wouldn't pick anyone else up if you have him. Rock base elite Dion, the one you got for the pre-order. And just put him in there. Here's the speed for the nickel spot. Really not bad at all. Now, free safety. Again, interesting spot. I've been rocking with Darnell Savage, my free team builder. I actually really like him. I feel like the speed's more than enough for the time being. There's obviously been a few guys that have dropped. Uh, Minka Fitzpatrick is really, really good. Now, of course, Trevon Morig's the best one in the game. I'm not going to go. He's too, again, like Mike Parsons, very expensive. 90 speed. If you can't afford him, you're going to want to go all the way down to the Minka spot. Minka Fitzpatrick's good. I mean, you can power him up, of course, if you want. Powered up and chemed up. He'll have 89 speed, 90 excel, 6 foot 1. He'll can probably get to 90 zone with a strategy card as well as a good hit power and man make is really good and then a strong safety for the final spot on the list guys this guy's insane now of course it's cam chancellor but i'd rather run him at linebacker and of course not everyone's gonna have him done yet but this strong safety has been has made this it's made playing defense a lot easier than a few of the other guys i played with this year have made it for me ed reed ed reed's just crazy ed reed's that guy that he's getting crazy picks he's jumping up 10 feet in the air He's athletic. He's a beast. 90 speed, 91 excel. He will get 91 speed. He has above 90 zone already. Pretty good man coverage. He has pretty good hit power. Hard's a beast. He has 87 change of direction, which is really good. He has 90 juke moves. So once you get the ball in your hands, you can do stuff with him. 88 break tackle. He's like Deion Sanders at free safety. And he comes built in with some hit power as well. I think he's great. But guys, overall, that is it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys need coins to pick up anyone, make sure to head them down below in the description. Head on the Mutt Reserve link and use code POOL at checkout 15% off your order. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.